bros, we are here with the man, Paul Babb, uh, the president and CEO of Maxon. So, um, we're on day two yes, of NAB. How have the? How do you think the presentations have been going so far? Oh, the presentations are amazing. I actually got to watch them the weekend before. So, uh, yeah, we've got some great artists. I mean, there's some great techniques and tips coming out there, and there's some very nice stuff from people that you know just barely getting into the program, and then guys that are digging in deep into espresso and things like that. It's good stuff. Yeah, I've really liked. I've really liked like. Um, I think the presentations have been awesome, and I'm I'm really upset I missed Trevor Kerr's yesterday. You know, but we're we gonna we're gonna be here till Friday. So, well, well, but we we don't do any doubles, but oh. they're all being recorded, and they're they're gonna be putting them on Cineversity.com later on. So you will all these all these presentations will be available to you after the show. Awesome, that's really cool. Yeah. Um, but they're they're broadcasted live right now. C4D yeah. live. C4D live dot com. Okay, awesome. Um, let's see. So what's 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 been your favorite so far? My favorite demo. If I can ask. You know, and it's probably the simplest thing, but it's also her energy, Allison House. She's she's more of a graphic artist, and she doesn't use Cinema 4D in a traditional way. And when you watch her demos, I mean, she's literally, you know, making fasted geometry. But when you see the result of her work, the artwork is just so simple and beautiful. But yeah. it's it's great to see somebody who's not extremely technically adept, uh, you know, not a not a 3D gearhead geek, but turning out amazing work with very simple simple uh, functions. Yeah, we've talked about that a little bit on the show as well. Like uh, E.J. Hassenfraz, oh, yeah. you know, like his stuff. We've talked about his is just like so different than what you see out of a normal 3D artist and we we, we like seeing the them doing something differently with it. Well, and he makes it look he he shows you how it's not that hard to do. 3 I mean 3D can be difficult sometimes and everybody wants to do Star Wars or articulated character animation. That is hard to do. Yeah. But the kind of things that EJ does, motion graphics, little short little animations and, and, and his stuff it has a lot of personality too. And so he shows you how to do, you know, Hard things more simply, but he also shows how to put a little personality into it. Yeah. Is there, are there any presentations you're really looking forward to that you haven't uh, that you haven't seen yet? I've seen them all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, let's see. So, any uh, any tidbits that you can maybe hint or want to say anything about maybe an upcoming R18 or any features or anything or no comment? I'd have to kill everybody to if I if I did say anything. But no, there's actually 18 is is going to have some more interesting things in it. I mean, at 17, the take system was was great. I think oh my gosh, it totally saved our lives the other day. It take just, system was yeah. is incredible. Yeah, the take system's incredible. And there's a couple of those kinds of features that they're coming out with this time uh, that I think people are going to be really happy about that you know that are going to going to change the way they work and make it th a couple of things a little easier. Cool. We've seen a lot of uh, a lot of the uh, like third party renderers and stuff like that. We've seen Arnold with uh, Trevor Kerr and a lot of people are using Octane. Any thoughts on, you know, some of the third party renderers? I, I know Nick is all about physical render and stuff like sure. that. And so everyone's using the different stuff and they're really producing some really good stuff. Absolutely. I mean, any opinions on, you know, the new GPU stuff versus yeah. well, I mean, Octane's amazing just from the speed standpoint, yeah. but it, it definitely has its imagery lam uh, Im limitations. Um, Arnold and some of the other uh, renderers are just gorgeous. I, I really, I really think it comes down to the artist and what works best for them. You know, it's, you know, when you get down to it, we, we you know, this is this is an art form, and we just really make a, a very elaborate paintbrush, and how the artist uses it and creates the artwork is up to them. It's really about their passion and creativity that comes out of it, and if we can get our tool out of the way so they can be more creative, it, it, that's part of our job. And I think making sure that the rendering engine they want to use or the functionality that's going to help them achieve what they want to use is, is really what, we, what we're supposed to do. Awesome. Uh, yesterday you told me a really interesting story about how you basically brought Cinema 4D to the America. Yeah. Can you tell us? Sure. So, so uh, I was freelancing. Uh, I had worked for Electric Image for some years. They got bought, went on back on. I was doing a little bit of marketing freelance. And uh, we helped Maxon out a little bit with some PR and trade show. And uh, uh, they were kind of a freelance job to begin with. And uh, we, But we developed this great relationship. And on one of my trips over to Germany, they asked if I would be interested in representing Maxon in the Americas. And so uh, I was lucky enough for them to ask. And I thought, OK. Seemed like a good adventure at the time, and here we are 19 years later. Absolutely. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. All right, cool, man. I appreciate the time. You got I really it. do. Thank you. Thank you.